Hello, Bill. My name is Eric Guth. Uh, that's me right there. <laughs> um, I have some of the limes that you guys sent us cut in half uh, from the Key West Key Lime Pie Company. And we are going to be putting them into our hydraulic press. We've already started testing them out, so uh, I'm going to start from scratch. Uh, as you see here, this is the squeezing mechanism inside of the hydraulic press. There's a squeezing plate right here. There's a filter. There's, a, there's the bar which supports the filter as it comes down. And there's another filter inside of there. And underneath we have the spout where the whole juice comes out of the hole. And I have a measuring cup here uh, to measure how much juice will come out of it. So let's give it a test. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out some of these key limes. Um, I distribute them evenly on the pressing plate. And what we discovered is, is if we run the machine and we do two squeezes with it, you're going to get a higher yield because these babies have very thick skins. So we'll do two squeezes. So right now I'm putting in the equivalent of four limes, which is eight halves. And I'm going to press the green button here. And the juice will start coming out of the pressing area. And it takes five seconds for a squeeze. I got a green light, so I'm gonna do it again. Just gonna hit the limes a second time. Get some more juice out of them. And it's the green lights back on. And the pressing plate has flattened some of these things pretty well. Here's an example of a lime that was flattened by that pressing plate. As you can see, there's really no juice, maybe a drop left inside of it. And I'll pull out another one. There's another lime, pretty well crushed. Got about four drops of juice left in that one. And I'll do one more. Here's another lime. And I'll do this one. Got about five drops left in that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it again. I'll just spread these out again and see if I do another press. If I do three presses, whether or not I'm going to get even more yield up. Because I have a feeling these things soften up with each hit. But it doesn't look like I'm getting anything much more out of it. So I'll take this pressing plate out. I will dump it. And I'm going to put it back in. And we're going to do another four limes to have so we the machine each machine comes with multiple pressing plates so you don't have to be loading them up in between squeezes you could be loading up the pressing plate as the machine is squeezing it and then just switch it out when the next uh, when the squeeze is done with the previous plate and I got another four in there so I make it a grand total of eight so far And I'll do it again. So let's do, uh, so we've done eight so far. A grand total of eight full limes. Let's do one more batch and see how much juice we got out of 12 of these key limes. So we'll do another set of four. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. Obviously you can do more of these in here if you want, but I only have one hand, so I can't do more than that. <laughs> but you could probably do about six or seven limes at once. It should be between 12 and 14 halves at a time, probably without really much of a problem. So we've done 12. We'll do one more squeeze. And it looks like uh, we've gotten four ounces of juice out of 12 limes. And that's it. So uh, if you've got any more questions, we have more limes here, and we'll send this to you right now, Jim. Thank you.
Bye-bye.